Hello everyone, and welcome to the April 2019 Agenda video. I am Mandy Pollock, creator of the Andy's Ramness YouTube channel. Hello everyone, coming to you from my random studios here in Fresh Meadows, New York. We are not at the pink wall again in Auburndale today due to the weather. Once again, the wind played a factor, and due to the fact that microphones and winds don't add up to a good equation it's been windy all day so honestly i said to myself you know what take care of um my shift at osmond and then just make this video so quickly gonna mention i am recording this at 4 10 eastern it is the first day of the month of april so of course quite fitting we do our monthly tradition of giving you all the agenda so like we do with every video, re-recap where we went in March. So to start off the month of March, we went to Roosevelt Avenue in Jackson Heights and Grand Avenue Newton along the M and the R lines in Elmhurst. <laughs> then we went to Chamber Street, which is where World Trade Center is along the numerous lines i took the e-train to get over there and the controversial sheldon silver station known as fulton street in manhattan on the week of march 18th we did two summits one of them was a surprise because you know i got to work early to do it so on march 18th as a surprise summit we went to the Douglaston long island railroad station and we did some rail fanning. So that was some fun doing that. We got to rail fan three trains because the time added up. And plus, the Q12 schedule worked out that day. So, thank goodness. And two days later, on March 20th, we went to Brooklyn with Metropolitan Avenue and Fulton Street in Brooklyn along the G line. Fulton Street wasn't that long because I was on a tight schedule and I didn't want to worry about traffic in Jamaica that day. So, of course, I took my normal 135 train that goes to Far Rockaway from Atlantic. So, that worked out. And to wrap up the month of March, we went to Lower Manhattan. We went to Bowery Street along the J and the Z line, the second ugliest station Chamber Street along the J and the Z is the first ugly. It's we did a summit uh, last year, of course. And to wrap it all up, we went to Canal Street. And after I was done filming, I took the end train back into Brooklyn to once again catch my 135 eastbound train to Jamaica from Atlantic Terminal, Brooklyn. And the reason why I was said to myself, you know what? I know this is the last stop on the end in Manhattan. I was like, you know what? Only one stop to Atlantic. I got time. They called the train at 120 anyway, so it was a win-win. And surprisingly, this is the first time I've used the Atlantic ticket twice in a month. So, wow, that was um something. Oh, right, quickly want to mention, uh, March 21st, I was at um, American Whiskey watching March Madness. So I left from Penn Station that day. So, yeah, in total, I traveled from... Atlantic Terminal twice, and I traveled from Penn Station twice back in March. So, two and two, uh, pretty good occasion, I guess. I know I'm only going to be leaving from Penn once this month, because I know I'm organizing it into this category. So, without further ado, let's get into our April Agenda video. So, first up for the agenda for April... This upcoming Wednesday, April 3rd, originally I was supposed to have Andy Kinto join me, but due to personal reasons that he didn't want to disclose to the public, he will not be joining. So it's going to only be me that day unless somebody else is interested. If you are interested, if you ever are interested, just DM me on Twitter at Andy's Randomness and I'll uh, get back to you that way because honestly... With the emails, I kind of can't get back to you quicker that way. So, yeah, Andy's ran on this. Want to DM me? I'll gladly accept your invite as long as it's reasonable. But anyhow, April 3rd, this upcoming Wednesday, 
And another factor played into it because of the weather, because it's actually going to be warm. So I'm pretty happy about that. We will be doing a two-pack. One station along the NYCT, and one that features the Long Island Railroad. So, first up, I will be doing Jamaica Center along the E, J, and Z line. So that's the end of the E line, and the other end of the J. Because I know I'm going to do the other J station that ends in Manhattan later this year, but um, for now... That's what we're doing for the other end if, of a line, if you want to call it that way. <laughs> then afterwards, I will be going to Hollis. I've planned it all out and how I'm going to make this work. So if anybody's asking, don't worry. Yours truly has, all, has it all figured out. <laughs> so, that is what we will be doing this Wednesday. The week after, on April 10th, I will be going to the Floral Park Long Island Railroad Station. So pretty much I'll go into the reasons why we're doing these two Long Island Railroad Stations this month. Hollis needs a lot of TLC. It's not as bad as Floral Park, which we'll get into in just a second, but... I have heard from Passengers United, and we'll bring him up, that... um. The area can be improved, and I will agree with him on that. So what I'm going to do is show you the area. Well, we're not going to leave the station proper to do it, but from where I'm going to be on the westbound platform, I'll show you all where um, Passengers United suggested where the community garden should be. And if there's a community garden, that would make it really, really good. Um, there's other suggestions he recommended but i'm hoping when we're there on wednesday that the new hollis signs will be installed or they're going to be installed because if we catch the mta workers installing it we're going to keep it low key so don't worry about it but i'll be very happy if that happens very happy and i might be the first youtuber to even show you all the new signs at the Hollis LAWR station. So that should be fun. Now, Floral Park. Why am I going to the station? And why am I saying it's dangerous? More dangerous than Hollis is. Well, even though Hollis does have a bad rep and it's, you know, the demographics play into a key in that, it's not as bad as Floral Park situation. Now, Floral Park is a nice area. The area around the train station is very very well situated and very um, safe area. Uh, my dad's accountant even has a, has an office in the area for many years, but um, it's the train station that's not safe. Now, what I mean to say is there's some very dangerous parts of that station that make you feel unsafe being on the platform. Um, there are three platforms. I'm going to do all of them, but a couple of them really aren't safe, and I'm risking my safety to do it. But I don't care. It has to be done. Um, I know CBS2 did do a report on that. So when I upload that video next week, um, I'm hoping when I get to LIJ's library on Thursday, I'll card the video for you all so you can see CBS2's report from last year. But, yeah, I was inspired by them to do it. And also MTA Prodigy. I'll card his video as well next week so you all can see that. Because he really went in depth about Floral Park. So I want to thank him for that when he did his station tour a couple months ago. But yeah, it's my turn to take a look at Floral Park. So we'll see how that ends up. And then, I can officially confirm to you all that April 17th is the date of my official start to my vacation. That's when my vacation days start. So, yeah, I know the 29th I was called back into Osman, which sucks, but I gotta do what I gotta do. Unless, maybe I can leave early and go to Kirkconan Park or do something. I don't know, but anyhow, <clears throat> April 17th, what special guest, and I'm allowed to say his name because he gave me permission, Brian. We'll just use his first name because... We'll call him Brian M, you know, for safety reasons. But 
Brian M., if you're watching this video, I know you wanted to join me, so it is official. April 17th, sometime around 11.30 noonish. I will be doing Lefferts Boulevard along the A-Line. Now, there's two reasons why I'm doing this. One, I am curious to see if any falling debris is going to go on the street below because I've been hearing reports that a lot of falling debris has been going down there. And two, besides the summit, I will try to do some rail fanning. Now, the reason why I'm going to be doing some rail fanning is I am seeking the R179 train. I've seen it on the C and I have seen it on the J. But... I want to see it along the A-line. And Brian, believe it or not, gave me a tip in one of my vid summits a couple videos back. I don't remember which one it was, but... Brian had mentioned to me that there, will, there would be more of the R179 cars at Lefferts. So I'm going to take his word. And plus, honestly, if they are going to be putting the R179s in full use... I want to try to get the old trains in action before they're phased out. And who knows? Maybe they'll be in the transit museum one day. I'd, I'd hope so. But for now, uh, we'll see how it ends up on that date. And I'm really looking forward to showing you um, Brian's home station. Because he told me that that's his home station. So, first time I'm having a guest in a while. So let me think. Who was our last guest in the summit? I think it was Matt. I believe it was Matt Camper. I'm not too sure. I'll bring him up in just a second because he plays into the agenda too for this month. So, April 18th through the 26th, if anybody's going to be wondering, there'll be no summit that week. Um, the 18th, I'm leaving for my parents' place in Ocean City, Maryland, which is our, um, other, place, our other property we have down there in Delmarva. So, we're going to be down there for Pesach, which... By the way, um, I'll quickly mention, even though I'm on my diet, um, I got to admit something. I am allowed to have one cheat per day. Today I had Oreos, so I'm trying to make sure I don't have any other cheats during the week other than pizza. Because Weight Watchers says it's fine. I'm following Weight Watchers now. It sounds crazy. But I'll update you on my diet. Um, it's going pretty well so far. I'm not going to go into, you know, the importance of it until I get my laptop back, which when I get my laptop back, I'll go in more details about it and we'll do a video about my diet then because I know I don't want to bore you in this video, but so far the diet's going pretty well. Um, I looked up Weight Watchers and they said as long as I'm eating under 35 grams of sugar a day, it's a sheet snack, they said it's fine and I've been moving all day at work anyway because you know taking residents around and you know it, it gets me off my feet but i know tomorrow i'm back at my regular workout because still gotta work to my goal of um my ideal weight which again that'll be for another video for another time um i know over the weekend i was gonna do an intimate video about myself because um, this is a very important month for me in my personal life, and I have to discuss it with you all. So we'll do that video on Sunday. It's also part of the agenda, but I figured, you know, it's important that I uh, talk about a delicate subject with you all about my overall life on Sunday. It doesn't have to do with my weight. So um, stay tuned for that. It's going to be a little bit more crazy this month, but yeah. So once again... Back on topic, um, the 18th through the 26th, I will not be here. Once again, I'll be in Maryland. So, videos may be limited. I know my mom said I can take my... My mom's going to give me back my old laptop. She's guaranteed me that I can have it down there. Because we do have to look up stuff if, you know... That's our only computer we have down there. So, I have to bring it. And she did tell me I can bring my tablet because she knows how <laughs> bored I'm going to be with the trip. And plus... um. I know my ex Laura uh, is watching. Be aware that I might be downloading some Netflix movies to keep me occupied during the trip, possibly. Because I don't know if Comcast will be reliable down in Delmarva. So, 
We'll see how that ends up. But, anyhow, I know I sound crazy for being insane. April 27th, precisely 5 p.m. I've timed this out with Mr. Matt Camper. I will be on his channel along with um, a friend of his who I actually know his friend because we're friends too. So another friend of ours is going to be joining us at East Williston. It will be on his channel. So I know in the May Agenda video I will be carding that when Matt publishes that. So, um, yeah. And then to wrap it all up, April 30th, I will be doing another two-pack. So, pretty much it won't be two... It won't be two-packs. No, only two two-packs this month. So, the 30th, I'm going to be going to 14th Street, Union Square, and then I'll be taking the L train to... 14th Street and 8th Avenue to do the A, C, and E station on the west side of Manhattan. I will most likely be taking the A train because that goes express to 34th Street Penn so I can connect with the Long Island Railroad. Because I'm not in the mood to deal with the E train. I'm not. So, I know I'm going to have to be taking the, um, the L train... Let me think. Do I have to take the L? Right, right. I forgot. I have to take the L from the F station. So I'll be taking the F that day to get to 14th Street Union Square Station. Which I know it stinks, but it's better than transferring a Times Square. Hmm. Right, I can transfer... Right, silly me. I'm going to be transferring at 34th and Herald. Okay, yeah. So I'll just take the end of the queue that day. I didn't think about that. And with that being all said, that's going to wrap up the April Agenda video. So the next Agenda video will be on May 6th for our May Agenda. And I am tentatively planning to do a couple more long, at least two Long Island Railroad stations like this month. Because my goal is to do at least two Long Island Railroad stations next month. I know June and July, I'm, aim, I'm aiming to do the Babylon Ranch a majority of the time on the Long Island Railroad for the summer months, so that should be fun. And I'll quickly mention May at the moment. On May 21st or the 22nd, I'll spoil it already just to get it over with. <clears throat> I'll be going to Long Beach. Wait a minute, right. One, two... Right, has to be four summits, so I can probably do Rockville Center on the 28th. Okay. Yeah, I'll figure this all out, but those are two tentative dates at the moment. I have to figure out where I'm going to be doing subway stations in May. That's going to be a little bit complicated. I'll have to figure that out, because May's still a good month to do one station I had in mind in Brooklyn. And then, a good surprise in May. I'll keep you all informed about that, but... Regardless of everything that I just said, thank you all for watching. First Summit will be on Wednesday once again at Jamaica Center and at the Hollis LAWR station. So with that, thank you all for watching. Until the next one, please take care.